Hi everybody, it's Art Wednesday, time to get a little bit messy. And today we're gonna to be working on a project that you can use for Mother's Day, because that's coming up pretty soon and we don't wanna miss that. So I have been working on a pot design where we're gonna be painting the pot. You can do the background a solid color if you like, or you can just leave it the terracotta color on the outside and just do the design on it, that's up to you. So here's a couple examples that I've done so that you can see the different color choices that you can do. And all you need for this project is a pot and a either a base color that you like or leave it plain. And then we're going to be using three colors for the design itself, a dark, a medium, and a white. So if you just have these two paints, you could mix and make a medium. In between, I happen to have three, so I'm gonna use those today on our design, but it's just a dark, a medium, and a light for our main design. So you're gonna say, oh, I don't know about all those dots. That's gonna be really, really hard, but really all those are stamps. So you're going to be choosing anything that you have at home. So it could be just a regular old pencil, and we're gonna use the end, the eraser, for the stamp. That's what's gonna make most of the dots. Then if you have an old paintbrush, um, you could use the tip of the pencil if you wanted, something to make small dots with. I happen to have an old paintbrush, so I was using that. And then something for a larger dot. I, of course, had a knitting needle that would work well, but you could also use, if you had um, some old washable felt pens, those would work. Just use the end, the back end, and you can use that for your larger dots. <clears throat> so if you take a look at this paper, it gives you the design that we're going to be putting on the uh, pot. So it starts with a circle about the size of a loony, and then these are just guidelines. You don't have to put those on your pot. It's just to show you generally what we're going to be doing. So I'm going to get the pot that we'll be working on. And if you're really little, mom could probably take a loony and draw that circle on for you. And then um, for the bigger kids, you guys can do that on your own. I just did this so you could see where we're going, but you don't need to put that line on your pot. And don't worry, you can erase all of this pencil work if you see any of it, <clears throat> just with a white eraser. So we're going to start off in the center, and we're going to start with the medium tone. And I'm just doing this so it's quicker. We're going to color in the middle, our loony shape, with a small paintbrush. Can turn your pot around so that if you're finding that it's hard to paint your circle you can turn your pot upside down and then you'll get a nice circle in the middle take a little bit of time with this just so you get a nice circle in the center <clears throat> now if you see that you can see the undercolor a little bit more you can put a little extra paint on the center like that and you can always go back over it later now we get to do the stamps. The stamps are really a series of patterns that you're going to be doing. So I'm gonna take the dark color to start off with, and I'm gonna start at 12 o'clock. Dip, tap, dip, tap, and you're gonna go all the way around. Try and get them evenly spaced and you're gonna dip in the paint after each time you touch. And then you'll get the same size stamps. And you're gonna go around the outside edge of your circle. There we go. Now you're just gonna wipe off that paint just till it's clean. 
And now we're gonna do the next set of lines. You see those white dots around our larger circle? And so you could choose to use white or you can choose to use your medium. I'm gonna go with the white. And you're gonna do the same thing, dip, tap, dip, tap, and you're gonna go around keeping your dots evenly paced. Now, if I'm going a little faster than you, that's okay. You can always pause the video and then take your time to go all the way around. Don't feel rushed. And you see how I'm starting? This is important, especially if you're helping someone who's little with this project, is where you start your dots. You want to go around the circle, but you want... I'm going to show you here on the next line. There we go. You want to start at the top and go away from you and then back towards so you don't rub your hand across. That's our only big um, worry on this particular project is not to draw your hand across. So you always go the same direction, starting at the top, around, and back. You're going clockwise. Now, we've done the dark, the light. I'm going to go with a medium this time. And I'm gonna go off center. So instead of starting right above, I'm gonna move in the in-between space. In-between space. So I'm right above the gap in the two white dots. Oh, that one was a little bit small, wasn't it? If you're finding that, that's just, my paint is a bit goopy on that one, so got some thicker paint and some lighter paint just a second there we go we're gonna go all the way around in that in-between space and if your dot seems a bit smaller than your friend the little guys beside it just do a second time over the same spot and try and keep them evenly spaced, going all the way around. Now we've done small dots so far, and we're gonna change the size of the dots by changing the size of the stamp. So instead of using the end of, the little end of our paintbrush, we're going to move to the next size up and the end of our eraser. So just make sure it's a new eraser. You don't want one that's all chewed up. You want a new one. And we're going to go with that medium color again. Dip it in there. Again, we're going to start at 12 o'clock in between. So see how I have it in between those two dots? And we're going to go all the way around. And each time you want to dip in the paint, if you don't do that, then what the dots will be small the second time you press. So dip, stamp. And we go all the way around again. See how I'm going in that same direction so that I don't drag my hand across. We're going to go up to the top. Now, if you're, um, say you're more in the five-year-old range of working on this project, then what you can do is lay a towel on the table, an old one, so that the pot is held up by a towel instead of their left hand or right hand if they're a left-handed person. So I'm holding it with one hand and painting with the other. A little one might need more a stabilizing force so the pot doesn't roll off the table. So just get a little towel to um, hold that up for them. Okay, so now we've done our medium circle. Now we have to expand our circle again. So we're gonna add a little bit more excitement. So we're gonna start in between again. And then this time, we're gonna take our paintbrush dip in the white and have a dot 
between. So we're gonna go medium white, medium And we're coming, oops, I dipped in the white when I should be going in the medium. I was just going to say, we're doing an A-B pattern here. So purple, white, purple, white. And you're going to go all the way around doing the same thing. Now, if for some reason you mess up the pattern, you go, oh, uh-oh, what am I going to do now? I'm going to show you so say for instance I did this and then I went and I did another white dot I went oh no that didn't work all you're gonna do is take a q-tip dip it in a little bit of water and then carefully wipe it off and then you can go back to your pattern so as long as you're wiping it off fairly soon don't leave it to dry you can wipe this paint off. Now you can see our circle, our, our mandala that we're making is getting larger. And we just keep following the pattern as we go along. Now I did just what I was telling you about. I it dropped a little bit of color on there. So I'll just wipe it off. And just give it a little rub. There we go. And now the next circle that we go around, we're going to come up with a different pattern. And that's sort of the fun of this, is each circle that you go around, you're going to have a different pattern. Okay, now I'm getting to show you how to fix a mistake twice now because I just stuck my baby finger in there. So then <clears throat> as we're going up, we're going to start changing the color tone too. So we've got the dark, the medium, and we're going to move to lightening the purple. So I'm just going to take my purple color that I have here and I'm gonna add a bit of white to it and create the lighter color. You wanna mix a little bit of paint so that you don't run out as we go around. Okay, so now we've got the lighter color and we're gonna do a little different pattern this time. So I'm gonna start above the white dot and I'm going to do an ABB pattern this time. So everyone can remember back when you learned those patterns. So I've got the large dot. Now I'm going to go two small dots. And I'm going to go all the way around like that. Now I'm going to show you this. You're going to notice that we're going to come up to the bottom of this pot and not be able to do an actual circle, right? And that's what we're just going to fall off the edge almost. We're going to go like this and do our last big dot and then just leave it. And then we're going to start this time at the top dot dot and go towards the bottom and that's how you get that sort of arc that rainbow effect and 
we're still trying to keep them evenly paced, spaced, not paced, and go down to the edge. Now you can take your time. I'm sort of hurrying so you can see each of the patterns. Okay, so now we've gone to the bottom and we've got that pattern. And then we're gonna do a different pattern on the next layer. So we're gonna do another layer of this. So I'm gonna start straight above this one. And I'm going to do, I'm gonna take and make a little diamond of dots like that. You can do that on both sides if you want. And I'm gonna go all the way around like that. Now I'm just gonna show you on the very top, we're gonna to do it a little bit more elaborate. You can carry on right down to the bottom. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take that large dot that I was telling you about. And I'm gonna go up here and make my large dot. And I'll just make three so you can see what we're gonna do. And then you can go ahead and go all the way around. There's another large dot. Now here, we're going to take our light color and you, you can change this too. This is just the design that I was doing, but you can go and do three vertical dots like that. And then I'm going to take the white and I'm going to go around So I have the center top, and then one, two, three. Center top, and then one, two, three. One, two, three. Center top, and one, two, three. One, two, three. And you can leave it like that if you like, or you can go up as well. One, two, three. One, two, three. <coughs> One, two, three. There you go. Now you're going to carry that design all the way around the edge. <coughs> Excuse me. And go all the way around, just like we've done in these two examples. And then you're all finished. Now, <coughs> if you're going to use these pots, just for decoration and not put a plant in it, you're done. If you want to put a plant in it, you need to use Thompson's water seal and paint the clear coat on the outside and the inside. And you can put soil inside, put some nice seeds in there. I chose forget me not because I thought that was a nice plant for mom. You can put sunflowers, whatever you like. And you're gonna put those in the soil and then you can water it and the water won't damage the paint. But it will damage the paint if you don't put the Thompson's water seal on the outside edge and the inside. I'll have um, some Thompson's water seal at the school if you don't have any at home, but you can always get that down at home hardware. And that's everything for making a great Mother's Day present. Hopefully it'll be a surprise for her and you can Give her something special on that Sunday. We'll talk to you soon. Bye.